Hey, what's up? It's John from Dowie Farm. Oh, did I push a weird button? No? Okay, good. Just want to do an impromptu video real quick about ducks in the snow, because it's snowing here. And the dog and I, Mags. Maggie the dog. Hi, Maggie. Hey, what are you doing, crazy? Oh, hi, good puppy. Maggie the pocket Pyrenees. Her and I are going to go out check on the babies. We could go check on the babies. Let's go. Oh, hi. All right, here we are. We got about four inches. Nice, heavy, wet snow. Look at this dog. She's excited. Ducks don't care about the snow. A little uh, cluttered up out here these days. <clears throat> we didn't have a lot of time to. We didn't have a lot of time in the spring to get out here and sort out things. The dog's going crazy. Yep, she's excited. <laughs> Easy, Mags. Easy crazy. Oh, you're so crazy. She isn't the best livestock guardian dog in the world, but she'll kill anything that comes over that fence. Anyway, there's the majority of the flock. We got some Pekins, we got some Golden 300s, we got some some of the uh, brown 300 layers, uh, the Golden and White layers. That's what it was from Metzer Farms. I got a couple of older, these gray ducks here, right there, in the center. That's an older uh, blue Swedish. They start to turn white as they get older. I got some Rowans. There goes a chicken under the deck. They hide out under the deck in the day. And then we get them in here in our winter pen overnight. I'm fighting a little bit of a cold, so you have to bear with me. There's one hanging out in there. <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> one of the males. I think that's just a male pecan. I had a couple of pecans kicking around from an old meat flock I had. There's one over there in the corner. And they're just here, and there's the quail dome, keeping the quail from <clears throat> getting too snowy. I'm not going to go in there today. <clears throat> Done plenty of videos on the quail. Anyway, that is what it is, and it's snowing here in New Hampshire. It's not too bad yet. Just a couple inches. Nothing compared to the feet of snow that they get where I grew up in central New York. My parents getting a couple feet the last couple days. Let's go take a look at the river. <clears throat> the rabbit. Here, here's the rabbit. We put Betty White in this big old cage because why not? Because we have it. Hello, Betty White. She's just like, she's like, yeah, I live in a 16 by 12 cage. She made a big hole in the ground over there she lives in. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. This is the river. They're not frozen, 100%. But, uh, you know, there it is. Not a terrible place to live. Wake up every day to this. It's kind of in suburbia. It's not a big piece of land, but, uh, you know, it all works. Cool. Anyway. There's ducks in the snow. Everybody always wants to know. Ducks in the snow, it rhymes. Look at that. Sorry, I'm a little lacking in personality today because I'm kind of <clears throat> stuffed up. Let's take a look at the pool real quick before I go. Oh, hi, ducks. What are you doing? <laughs> a little sloppy. New water today. That's as long as, long as that takes. I have a K&A cheater in there, and I put it on an inkbird timer. So the inkbird timer turns off <clears throat> when the ambient temperature hits, uh, I think I set it for 34 or 36 degrees, and then it turns back on when the ambient temperature hits 32 or something like that. It's got a two degree variance or something, or a one degree variance. 35 bucks controls your timer, or your heater. Those heaters turn off, but uh, they turn off when the water hits a certain temperature, and obviously we know that it takes longer than the air. Anyway, that's about it. <clears throat> I'm going to grill later. Maybe we'll do a video of me grilling some pork chops in the snow. Hey, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.